Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Empire Builders lately, and I got the itch to try some city builders for once. Um, and I decided to go straight back to the source of the whole genre, which is the 1989 version of SimCity, not the 2013 version, or rebranding. Um, yeah, this game represents such an important watershed in the history of computer games. Uh, up until this point, pretty much well, most games were mostly action or arcade oriented and focused on destruction rather than actually actually building something. And SimCity really changed that and kickstarted a whole new subgenre. In of course, simulations and city builders, of course, but um, other uh, other empire builders like Civilization, industri industry games like Railroad Tycoon, these also benefited from SimCity's trailblazing. And since this game basically showed that people actually wanted to play a game where you would build stuff and did things in a sandbox. It was like getting them to a beach and making sandcastles, that sort of thing. Of course, you they also have the abilities to destroy things. Um, yeah, The version I'm playing right here is available for free over at the Internet Archives. It is playable as a DOSBox emulation within your browser, and I'll put a link in the video description so you can go check it out for yourself if you want to. Um, yeah, and this all probably won't be a very long Let's Play, because, yeah, for one thing, it, it, the game is old. I have to admit that. It's, what, 27 years now? So, it has aged a bit. And it shows, and there are other empire, other, other city builders that are also play, and of course, given the that it's been at least 20 years since I played this game, <laughs> I've forgotten all the uh, finicky details. So expect some rustiness and bad... Uh, performance here. Um, let's see, what are we going to call it? Yeah, we're going to just call it... Uh, Kebville. There we go. We are going to play on easy. I don't think it's going to matter all that much. As for audio in this game, it is PC speaker only, so <laughs> I've tried to nerf the volume a fair bit. Oh yeah, copy protection, which doesn't exist. Just press enter. Um, yeah, the audio is PC speaker, so there will be beeps, and that's about it. No music, obviously. Um, yeah, where do we want to build, and what do we want to do? And we're going to immediately disable disasters. I think I'm going to suffer enough without suffering that as well. Um, where do we want to start? Maybe down here-ish. We are going to need a power plant. I don't think we can afford a nuclear plant. Nobody really wants to live near the coal power plant, but... Mm. So we'll build one of those. Build some roads. And some more roads. And some industry. I might have to actually pause the game. There we go. Speed zero. Um, while I plot things down. Now, I remember that this game had a very big penchant for becoming a tragical nightmare, so I'll have to see if I can try to keep a functioning road grid. Um, and we probably want to have Oops. There we go. Lots of ugliness there. Clear that out. Probably want a bit, bit, a bit of space for other types of buildings. A um, couple of commercial districts, some parks. It's gonna get ugly, I know. And why not try to build some rails as well? Ugh. That's not what I wanted. It's gonna get ugly, this, but who cares? Um, just plop down some houses. I'm not sure if you can build a town where you don't have... or build a square where you don't have access to a road. I assume you can, I don't actually remember. Um, we'll find out in a moment. We're just gonna build a rail all the way over there. 
Small little residential area here. And a few more houses. Spending a lot of money already. Something like that. Then we need the power grid. Hmm. hmm, okay, and maybe a few more commercial zones. Industry. Let's see how this works. Ah, not where I want to build that trailer thingy. Uh, oops. I expect a lot of that kind of mess up. Um, da -da -da, delete you. Get a road all the way down there. Another power line. Whoops. Two power lines in the middle of nowhere. Not, not what I wanted. Oh yeah, and before I forget, there's another problem with the um, version here, I believe. Make certain that you're loading the proper graphics. I believe it's, I believe the version over at, um, over at the Internet Archives is basically set to use the Wild West terrain, so you have, might have to switch the graphics. There we go. Oh, maybe I already had the classic graphics. At any rate, there we go. Uh, da -da -da, that's our basic city. We might want a police station or something. Um, sure, let's have a police department and a fire department down there, just so we have some coverage. It's gonna be expensive. Let's see that. Okay, now we start the clock and wait a bit to see what people want. High demand for. Oh, there wasn't a power for these. There we go. Okay, people are moving in. No demand for commercial right now. Mostly demand for residential. Uh, I'm gonna wait until these have been fully built before I start anything else. As you can see, demand is already going down. Oh, this is such a mainstay in <laughs> city building games. This little color bar and those particular colors have been a mainstay of all these city builders for <laughs> nearly three decades now. Um, oh yeah, and this, that's fine. Go with these figures. Yeah, you don't make much money though, so it's gonna take a long time to get all the resources you need. As you can see, people are now moving in. Uh, we might... Let's speed it up, let's see what happens. Okay. Suddenly people aren't as interested in working here. That's sad. Another budget. Still losing money. Traffic is showing up. Okay, 2,000 citizens. Off to a decent start, I suppose. Uh, now I'm going to slow down because now we seem to have gotten a fair few population here. So we're going to start by expanding a little bit. Set back to speed 2. Ah! Misclicks. Hmm, it still says we need more residential. I don't know if that's actually the case, but... Let's make some pretty parks. Traffic is already becoming a problem. It didn't take long. Did not take long at all.
So here I thought I'd space them out at least somewhat efficiently. I was wrong, apparently. Ah, oh, well. Um, yeah, you should be aware of that. In, uh, <laughs> some things are reflected um, from the designer's points of view. Mass transit is king in this game. The train, basically. And uh, nuclear power plants are very, very dangerous. I believe Will Wright's agenda shown through on, on those two small accounts. But still, this is his masterpiece, in my mind. Uh, you might argue that his later success with not only the interest of the entire Sims fran the Sim franchise, but of course, The Sims itself, which is, as far as I know, still the best-selling PC game of all time. Could arguably be a greater success, but I think this is his greatest contribution, to be honest. Just to being just being able to show that something that where you build is actually fun to play. I mean, otherwise we'd all be stuck with arcade games descending from Pong, and that's not quite not not as much fun, at least in my mind. And it looks like we're going to need more residential areas. So let's do that. You're also, there's also a need for more commercial zones. So a few more of those. And some power cables. And as you can see, they dense up these buildings. So they do that automatically. Ugh, all this traffic. Let's see, can we go and have a look at some overlays? Uh, da, 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 da. Or we could rather just look at the main map. There's our entire city. Um, transportation systems, we can check population density, where people mostly live, where people are moving in. Traffic density, yeah, we know this area here is very congested. Uh, pollution, there of course is pollution because of all the road traffic and industry pollution. Crime, well there is some crime. Uh, police coverage is only so good. Of course land value, well this land down here is incredibly valuable. Mm, we made 200, 200 bucks in a year. <laughs> Not much. Not much at all. Uh, not the parks. We wanted more. Residentials. Oh, 10,000 people. My goodness. Yes, I know you don't have power. We'll fix that. Just gives me a second. And we're gonna make some parks. I'm probably not making enough parks, to be honest, but... Uh, I can cope. Apparently they don't need any kind of connection to start building. That's fine. That's good. And we do need more commercial stuff. Let's build a few of those then. Oops, that's not where I wanted to build that commercial zone. Kaboom. And now some power lines. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Traffic in the city is expanding. Commuters are getting militant. Highway shootings are on the rise. Either build more roads or, or and rails or get a bulletproof limo. Yeah. <laughs> I am trying. I'm trying to build out a proper road grid. 
I'm not sure just how many rails you require to be satisfied. I guess we're gonna go do the slightly coastal route there and a couple of houses with power lines. And oops, not what I wanted again. Might have just clicked them one by one so that they actually. Uh, so I don't lose control of where I'm clicking here. There we go. A massive new ray line. Hopefully that'll fix things a little bit. More parks, greenery is always good. It says you still need more. Okay. Guess I'll build a few more homes. Look at that, a hospital. Two unbuilt of those, so no need to rush, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe we want to build some railings up this way. Thing though, the more I build out the road grid and rail grid, um, the higher the maintenance costs, so there's that to consider. And I'm honestly not sure how the game computes uh, adjacency to these road grids and rail grids. So I'm not entirely sure how efficient or inefficient the stuff I'm building is. I don't know if that's necessary, an actual connection. Um, here I can't really... Yeah. Let's make a little coastal rail here. There we go. Big circle. Maybe another shopping district. Or two and some parks. Of course I also need power. And maybe another house there ish. Another line. More parks. There we go. I'm actually making money now. That's good. Hopefully that'll last. Hopefully. And another industry zone down there. Now that they've built a rail grid around the whole downtown, now how's the traffic situation looking? Traffic density, well, still this corner up here. That is the most trafficked one. Mm, what about crime? Crime is actually on the rise. That's not good. Okay, we might have to fix this then. Um, crime up here is high, crime down there. Maybe we need another uh, police station. Oh, now we need another power plant as well. Uh, first though. Another, no, 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 not what I wanted. Um, police station. And you need another power plant as well. Uh, can I build one down there? Can I that with that will that actually work? I have no idea. And uh, now I connect them, there we go. And now we don't have much money to <laughs> spend anymore. So now I have to be a bit more careful. We'll just let time flow. And now they demand a stadium. 
I can build it, but that's gonna take our entire funds. Um, and this area is already heavily trafficked. Do I want a stadium in the residential area? Probably not. If I build and if I build the stadium down this way, that's gonna be a massive traffic problem. But yeah. Fine, let's build a massive stadium. And then we're gonna build a huge park. Don't dare build any buildings right here because of the amount of traffic that was there. Okay, so now they have a stadium as well. They darn well better be happy. Now our residential demand is dropping tremendously. That's not good. And while industry and commercial demands are still pretty darn high. Well, I can't really do anything about the... Uh, uh, well, maybe a few commercial zones, maybe. Oh, I don't really want them to build them down there. Let's build them up here. And that's pretty much our entire funds gone. So now I have to just sit back quietly for a few years, I think. And save up money. It's a bit risky when you're starting to lose residential demand, because that means people are going to leave this town. And that means less, less tax dollars. And you can suddenly end up in a bankruptcy, which is something that I recall being very common for me in this game. I just build and build and build and suddenly I can't uh, keep the city going anymore. Crime, yeah, we've gotten that <coughs> oh, sorry, got that somewhat straightened out. There's still a lot of crime on this side of the city. So I'll probably need another police station up there. As for pollution, well, yeah, industry, of course, pollutes a lot. Traffic pollutes a fair bit. Uh, congestion is still pretty heavy in this area. Density of population, yeah, that's to be expected, I suppose. Mm, I suppose we'll plop down a police department next to the hospital here. You need a lot of police stations to keep the, keep your sims under control. I mean, these are pretty darn close. Oh, look at all this traffic. People are moving out. They don't like the traffic. I'm gonna just pull a road connection there. More money. Yeah, I'm gonna need those monies. Could build a road down this way. Just to see if I can alleviate some of the traffic. That wouldn't really help with it. It would have to be it would be such a long roundabout. And given the nature of the traffic simulation, it's kinda of difficult to see where exactly are you going? I mean, you're not just going here, you're actually trying to travel elsewhere, I assume. Looks like the stadium is having a game. Oh yeah. Very heavy traffic here. I'm going to have to fix this. Might be that they're simply going down to the stadium. I can try to see if I can fix that by doing something like that, I don't know. And a quick road over there as well. Small parallel road. At least I hope we got the crime under control now. Yeah, crime is now fairly low. Land values, decent. Still making money. So, apparently the railroad down here is incredibly valuable. 
for whatever reason. Um, pollution, yeah, the heavy traffic is causing a fair bit of pollution. Sadly. At least we have power everywhere. Hmm. Let's have a look at things. How are things going? Graphs. Last 10 years. Crime. That's going too badly. Population. On the rise mostly most of the time. Commerce. Yeah. Waning a bit. Industry. Slowly growing. Let's see. Pollution. Yeah. Keeping steady. Cash flow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nothing supremely surprising in that kind of thing. Let's see. Evaluation. Yeah, how the, yeah, okay, so 55% thinks we're doing a good job. Worst is housing costs. Ha. Huh. Housing costs. So they basically want me to zone more residential zones. I believe. The problem is... We can't really do much about that. Crime is very low. Traffic is problematic. Taxes. I don't really want to cut taxes. I need the money. Um, housing costs, though. So you basically want me to build more residential zones in areas where there are... Uh, where the property value would be low. Is that it? It might be. It might be. For now, though, I think I'm going to just focus on building a road parallel to the rail here. Oops. Not quite what I wanted, but... Uh, let's fix that. Fine. And connect the rail again. Now we have a big round road there. A big ring road. Um, but that won't really help most of these. What if I built... Ah, misclick again. Something like this. An extra road to the north there. And sure, let's plop down a few residential zones. I'm gonna bring a railroad up here just in case I can bring that somewhere in the north. Let's see, the shore, can I build? Yeah, I can build an house as well. Excellent. Let's make all the nice little greenery. Yeah, yeah, I can't build on the ocean, I realize that. Big beep. Look at that nice little scenic route. That I'm actually mean a second fit in a building here as well. Um, just because I want to see. I don't think this is going to be a popular residential area. <laughs> given the pollution, but... Uh, let's have a look-see. See what happens. Yeah, the traffic density here is just awful. People have moved out. They don't like it. Um, okay, so I have to kill that in order to build a park here. I'm going to do that. Make it more desirable. Somewhat counteract the uh, traffic, I believe. Yeah, that'll be good. But, 
I think it's time for a short break though, before we continue building this city. Um, if you enjoy watching this series, or if you would like to show your support, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel or hitting those like buttons. Uh, both actions help me out a great deal. Um, and if you wish to tell me how good or bad I'm playing, the comment field should be just down below. And beyond that, thank you for watching.